What is now art to me after this total collapse? Well, art still is the same for me. From the beginning, it's still um, a way you can externalize how you feel, not through words, but through image, through perspective, through um, an actual object instead of using your voice. But now I also think that art could be actually anything could be anything in the world and we can't we, we wouldn't even know if like if like the artist wasn't there we probably would pass by some art that we would that we never thought would be art or even have like a deeper meaning than that so art is just to me internalizing your taking your inner inner thoughts and ideas and throwing them out onto this object instead of actually saying it yourself first to see what people might get out of it to um, afflict emotion, certain emotions onto people but also to see if they get what you're trying to say see if other people get what you believe and if other people do believe that you can probably collaborate with them or something start a domino effect in the world that one idea affects another idea affects another idea. Just like in Eva Franco, it um, made me believe that there's no, there's no, what's it called? Um, there's no an original idea because one idea is um, inspired by another idea or it's just a copy or modification of that idea. So, yep, that's what art's to me now. I really enjoyed the class. Sometimes the only thing I didn't like was Second Life, but I got used to it. It's not that bad once you get a hang of it. It's really a fun class, actually. The only things were the lectures. They were kind of... I liked watching the movies and having little like discussions after them, but some parts are kind of a... kind of boring that's the only thing the rest of the class like the projects are really fun actually frustrating but they are fun and you learn a lot about art like the Evan Franco um readings so yep